Hello friends, this video introduction to 3D Geometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Now let's derive the formula for distance between two points. So let's suppose we have to find distance between two points here, P and Q. So this is P and this is Q. So let P be, I'll say, P is equal to x1, y1, z1. Let's suppose this is the value of P point and Q point let be x2 comma y2 comma z2. This is the value of Q. So we have to find the distance between P and Q. So if you see this triangle, we can say that PQ square is equal to PA square plus AQ square. This triangle I'm talking about. I'll just draw this triangle here. Yeah, in this triangle, I can say that PQ square is equal to because this angle is 90 degree actually. This PQ square is equal to QA square plus PA square. This is the first equation. Correct. Now you take this triangle AQ square is equal to a n square plus q n square. I am taking this angle. Let me draw this in a haphazard way. I am doing it uh, intentionally. The exact way just to make should you get this value. So here you can see that what I am getting is q a square is equal to a n square plus n q square. It's q a square because this is 90 degree is equal to a n square plus n q square. If you add the, these two equations here q a square here you can q a square get put here. So what you get is p q square is nothing but a n square plus n q square plus p a square. This is the value of p q square. Now what is a n square? a n what is a n? a n is the displacement along x-axis correct so if you see this we have taken p as x1 y1 z1 so this p this will be x1 and q as x2 y2 z2 so this quadrant will be x2 the x coordinate i'm talking about between a and n right y coordinate in both the case is same z coordinate in both the cases same this will be y this will be y this will be z this will be z Correct. Now the difference between or the, the distance a1 a n is equal to x2 minus x1 square plus y minus y square is 0 and z minus z square is 0. So this distance is nothing but x2 minus x1 square. Similarly for nq if you see nq this is the dis displacement along z axis. Correct. So let's suppose this is we are talking about nq. So, so in case of n, if you see z is z is the one which is in p. So this is z1, and q here it is z2 actually. Correct. And x component will be same, and y component will also be same because there is no displacement along y-axis. So this will be x2 y z2. So if you see the difference, the difference will come out to be x2 minus x2 square is 0 square, y minus y square is 0 square, z2 minus z1 square plus plus p a square, not difference between p and a. If you see the difference is in along the y axis. So if you see the difference is along the y axis, at point p, the y is we have y1 and at point a, the y is y2, correct? So here it will be y2 minus y1 square because at between point P and A there is no change in x and y coordinates. It is all same. This is x1 and this is z2. So what we get is or PQ is equal to root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. This is the value of PQ. 
once again what we have done we told pq square is equal to qa square plus pa square and then we told qa square is equal to an square plus nq square both the equation we had we got pq square is equal to an square plus nq square plus pa square now an square we saw that an the displacement is only along x axis y and z is same in both an so we got x2 minus x1 square in nq square we saw the displacement is only along z axis so we got z2 minus z1 square in case of pa square in case of pa we saw the dis displacement is only along y axis so we got y2 minus y1 square and that is the value of pq so distance between any two point x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 we'll take one example we have to find the distance between p and q where p is 1 minus 3 4 and q is 4 1 and 2 so if you see this this is x1 this is y1 this is z1 this is x2 this is y2 and this is z2 so we have x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 now the distance we know is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square so what you get is root over minus 4 minus 1 square plus 1 minus minus 3 square plus 2 minus 4 square what we get here is root of minus 5 square plus 4 square plus minus 2 square and this is nothing but root of 25 plus 16 plus 4 and this is nothing but root of 45 and this is 3 root 5 and that is the answer. Let's take one more example. We have to prove that point P, Q and R are collinear. So if you can prove that let's suppose P, Q plus Q, R is equal to P, R or anything that sum of two distance is equal to third distance that means we can prove that these lines are collinear. So let's find the distance PQ first. So if you see PQ is nothing but root of 1 minus minus 2 square that is 1 minus minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus minus 2 minus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 5 square. So what we have used D is nothing but root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square this is the formula we have used so d is comes out to be this or we solve this becomes root of minus plus 3 square plus minus 1 square plus 3 and minus 5 is minus 2 square so it comes out to be root of 9 plus 1 plus 4 that is root of 4. Let's find QR. So QR is equal to nothing but root of 7 minus 1 square 7 minus 1 square plus 0 minus Q and R 0 minus 2 square plus minus 1 minus 3 square that is nothing but root of 6 square plus 2 square plus 4 square that is root of 36 plus 4 plus 16 that is root of 56 correct 56 14 into 2 is 14 to 4 is 56 this becomes 2 root 14 similarly now we will find PR PR is nothing but root of this is R and this is P 7 minus minus 2 square plus 0 minus 3 square plus minus 1 minus 5 square what I am doing this minus this 0 minus 3 
minus one minus five square root of this. This comes out to be root of nine square plus three square plus six square. That is root of eighty one plus nine plus thirty six. That is root of uh, this comes out to be one twenty six, and that is nothing but three root fourteen. That is the value. Now we have PQ, QR, and PR. So you see, PQ is equal to if you see came out to be root fourteen. QR came out to be two root fourteen, and PR came out to be three root fourteen. Thus we can see that PQ plus QR is equal to PR because this is root fourteen, and this is two root fourteen. If you add this, this becomes two three root fourteen. and that is what we have got correct so we can see that these lines are collinear because only if these lines are collinear if you say this is p this is q this is r only if they are collinear then this plus this will be pr this is pq plus qr is equal to pr as if they are not collinear it suppose if this is the case then we can't say pq plus qr is equal to pr correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again